how to do a shadow catcher in Blender. So basically what a shadow catcher is, is exactly what it sounds like. It takes the shadow, catches it so that you can isolate it within your transparent PNG render. So we're gonna be using cycles for this and I'm just gonna show you how simple it is to create a shadow catcher. So let's go ahead and go into our camera. We'll snap to our camera with numpad zero. Um, let's go ahead and go over to cycles, GPU, um, rendered view. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have a transparent um, background. Before we do anything, I'm gonna save this as shadow catcher tutorial. Cool, that way we have everything saved. Um, under here, guys, there's gonna be something called film. You wanna go ahead and pop that open and then click on transparent. And as you can see, the whole scene changes. You have this nice grid. That means you are going to be rendering a transparent PNG. Now, of course, you still wanna make sure in your output properties, you have PNG selected. Now, go ahead and add in a mesh, plane, scale that up a bunch, move it down below our cube, and then you can see the shadow right there. Now, you wanna go into your object properties, go into shading, and then under shading, we should have our shadow catcher. Where the hell is it? sheet no sorry guys uh what the hell is it oh here it is okay sorry visibility apologies for that shadow catcher now as soon as you click on that you're going to see everything else go transparent so now all this plane is designed to do is catch the shadow from objects and that's pretty much it so now if i want to go render this i'm just going to go ahead and make my samples 40 or something low render image as you can see we're rendering our image it is now done and we have our shadow right here. So if you went to go export this, you would now have your cube and your shadow. It's literally that simple. Sorry, I forgot exactly where the little toggle switch was for it. But guys, that's literally it. Um, you now have your transparent image with your cube and the shadow. Um, you can also do, like you can add more objects to it. Um, this is great for VFX because you can go ahead and overlay all these frames on top of more video and you still have the shadow. So guys, that's literally it. That's how you make a shadow catcher in Blender. Um, yes, you can duplicate this. Let's say you wanted to have two shadow catchers. I'm gonna duplicate this plane. I'm going to rotate it. And as you can see, now both of these things are catching the shadows. You can scale them down. And you see how when I move this around, it's catching all of the shadows here. Scale, scale, scale. I just wanted to show you guys that you can create multiple shadow catchers. Now, again, it's gonna be a little bit hard to find them because they are only catching the shadows, so you can't really see them in rendered view. But if you just click around, you'll be able to find them or you locate them in your hierarchy on the top right. Guys, that's it for this tutorial. That is how you make a shadow catcher in Blender. And I will see you in the next tutorial.